Hey everybody, Coach RJ here with Jenny from the Block and of course Big Mama. You know what we do? We provide fun, exciting, entertaining workouts in a family-like environment and most importantly, we get results. We get, those results. We get results. So Coach's Corner, we have a couple biggies here. So we all get super busy. Life catches up to us between cooking meals, working, maybe you have some kids stuff, maybe you have some personal stuff, and we get super busy. Now, the question for us coaches is, how do you stay on track when you're super busy? And we're going to go to you, Jenny from the block. Okay, so I think what you got to do when you have those busy times is figure out your top three priorities for yourself. Not for your kids or anybody like that, just yourself. What is that? Is that the water, the gym, and the food? Or what are those top three things? And then give those three things 100%. If you don't get the laundry folded or whatever the case may be until the weekend, then I say let that go. If You, you got to get those three done no matter what. It's like a non-negotiable thing. And Big Mama. Um, well, for me, I would like to just start off with saying recently I have come to being overwhelmed with so many things, all these things I have to do daily, and I didn't know how to prioritize what was important to me, as Jen was just saying, but then I realized everybody in this world is given the same amount of time. We are all given 24 hours in one single day. So whether it's what I choose to do with those 24 hours is what is important to me. So for me, number one is getting my workout in. That is one end all be all, no excuses. I need to get it done. The second number one or the second priority for me would be um, meals, food, because if I don't prep my food, then I eat garbage all day. I'll just go across the street, Safeway, grab garbage, garbage, garbage. But when you meal prep and bring your food, you're going to eat what you bring because you're hungry and then you have no choice. So I agree with you, Jen, 100%. You have to make yourself accountable for what is important to you and no excuses, get it done. So plan and prioritize. Yes. Love it. For me, it's sacrificing things that you think are creating short-term happiness for things that you know that are important. And what I mean by that is nothing really happens after 9 p.m. And we were talking about this on the podcast. Even if you're a real estate agent, I believe that that deal can wait till tomorrow. Even if you're a Wall Street broker, that deal can probably wait till tomorrow. And so that extra episode of Netflix that you're watching, or maybe that little bit of scrolling that you're doing on your IG stories, or maybe it's that extra YouTube video about some random workout or something random that somebody's watching on YouTube. Maybe you got to just have a hard stop to your day, get to bed, and then this way you can get up early and then you can factor fitness into your daily living. <clears throat> All right. So you heard it from RJ, my West Side Warriors. Do not message me after nine o'clock because I'm in bed. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't endorse answering any of those messages after nine because it's going to be a spiral effect. And then the next day it's going to be, you know, I'm overwhelmed and I'm busy. So let's just we'll deal with it in a timely matter and uh, it can wait. And if somebody doesn't get into a class because they didn't book early enough. That's not a us thing. That's a you thing. And so um, everybody's got to take responsibility for themselves and uh, plan your life ahead. Like you said, plan and prioritize. Make I tell my guys, you know, my good friends come and work out here and they're trying to get in off the wait list. I said, dude, you got to you got to book for a month, man. Like book your month in. If you need to cancel when t things happen, then cancel. But living your life like this, you can do that in every other element of your life. But when it comes to working out in the gym and when we're at decreased capacity, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get you in. Doesn't matter if you come over to my house for dinner or, or, or you know me on a first name basis, like nobody's getting in. So um, that stuff can wait till tomorrow. So make to make to get more time back, you have to give up time that you think is important, but it's not really. So there we have it, everybody. When it comes to staying on track, when you're busy, Coach Jen says, figure out your top three priorities for yourself. Big Mama says, plan and prepare for your day. And Coach RJ says, join the 5 a.m. club.